Three. Hey, what's going on? This is Albert, work at SeaWorld. Just want to say what's up to all my soldiers that's in Afghanistan right now. Ooh, all my guys right. that I work with. Say, here's that gossip, what it is with FD. Check right. it out. Thank, thank you, man. Thank you, my love. What it is, the power artist, Ricky Ross. Just proven he really is the boss. So Rick Ross decided to intervene between a feud that was going down between Meek Mills and Wale. All right, now it was a short-lived fight because of Rick Ross. Now, Rick Ross spoke to Bullet Magazine, and he addressed this whole feud between the two, saying, quote, it's a misunderstanding. As soon as the tweets went out, I spoke to both of them. Those two guys, they're brothers. At the end of the day, they're brothers. It's time to turn up right now. Now, this whole feud started when Meek decided to tweet that Wale wasn't promoting his album the way he thought it should be. So Meek's tweet said, he's been hating on me for a long time now. Don't even test me. Don't even text me, cornball. Well, that's when Wale decided to respond with, one thing I'm not is a hater. So they're going back on Twitter because, you know, that's the way to fight now. No longer is it fist to fist because that'll just get you in jail. Now it's just Twitter fights. So because of this whole little drama, Rick Ross decided to say, look, these two are with Maybach. We're trying to get everything civilized. You know what I mean? Like, we just want to keep them cool. So whether or not they really are boys, behind the scenes, we don't know. On the surface, it looks like Wally and Meek Mills are cool. Now, Meek is currently in trouble with the law. You know, he was sentenced to three to six months in jail for violation of probation. So he's Man. got that pending, but that is not going to affect his record release. His album, Dreams Worth More Than Money, is still going to be released September 9th. And after uh, Rick Ross told both those guys to squash the beef, he turned around and said, Show you how I'm looking. My sex appeal up. Uh, he has <laughs> lost a lot of weight. He's yep. lost like 100 pounds. And when pounds. you work for Rick Ross, you tell him, Yes, your sex appeal is up, sir. And you kiss the, kiss the beard. <laughs> or the belly button. All right, what it is with our power artist, Usher. So, Usher, I did not know this, but owns a part of the Cleveland Cavaliers. Oh. So, you know, Usher is super stoked that LeBron James has made the decision to return to the Cavaliers. Yeah. Now, this was about a decade ago. He spent $9 million, put it into the team, and owns a stake of it, Okay. So around this time where LeBron James was deciding on where to go, does he stay with MIA, does he go back to Ohio, does he go elsewhere? What was his deal? Well, I noticed on Twitter that Usher was typing up a whole bunch of stuff. Like he put, you know, um, I'm urging him to come back. He was kind of comparing LeBron James to the likes of Barack Obama, Steve Jobs. I mean, just like a lot of things. I'm like, why is he hyping up, you know, making such a big deal of this whole LeBron James decision thing? And then I realized, oh, because you got money in there, because the more tickets that are sold, the more deals that are, you know what I mean? If they sure, win a championship, sure, yeah. it's like more money in Usher's I'm, pocket. I'm, I'm still stuck on how how he compares to Steve Jobs or uh, Obama. Well, he's just saying there he's a great. Like, you know, we need LeBron. He's one, one of, of the, the greats. greats. Like, you know, look at him. He's just like great like Barack Obama. Look at what Steve Jobs did. He's one of the greats, and we need him here, and you know how that mm. is. So uh, it's it's really interesting that's, to see that. Finally, I'm like, wow, that's why Usher was super stoked about, you know, LeBron's he's return. He's making more it's money. Yeah, he's got he's money like, on the team. He's making more money. Back in 05, Usher told Forbes, I know that I have talent to entertain. Now I just want to be a great businessman. So it's kind of cool. Like, Usher knows his cute days. I mean, you know, each day that goes by, he's getting older. <laughs> yeah. He's getting less talented. I mean, he's still rocking out. But one day, he'll be too old to twist, turn, and twerk it on stage. He's going to have to own stuff like he'll this. He'll just be a suit for the Cavaliers. Exactly. <laughs> That's awesome. So. Good for him. I have respect for him knowing that he's been an owner for that long. And he wasn't like Jay-Z who owned the 1% and led everybody to believe that he owned all the Brooklyn Nets. Yeah, mm-hmm. all the Brooklyn Nets team, you know. So. And if you log on to Power953.com, check out Pharrell. He's producing the soundtrack for NBA 2K 2015, the, vid- the video game about basketball. But he says there's one thing that inspires him for this playlist. If you want to find out what it is, check it out on our site. What it is, powered by Hungry Howie's Free.